Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Okay, uh, okay, for today's lecture, uh, six, which is uh, painting, plating, and decoration. So, I think this chapter you you guys can uh, read by yourself. Okay, but I will go through. So, this is some reason for painting or coating. First, why we should painting a plastic product? First, to enhance the aesthetic and provide uniform color and texture to assemblies made of different materials or by different process. So, to hide some molding defects such as kit blush or foam swirl, to offer colors or surface effect that resin cannot, such as certain metallic or stipple effect. To perform a function such as electrically conductive paints to protect the plastic substrate from chemical abrasion or environmental attack. So, basically, a plastic when exposed to UV light, it will uh, will face uh, either the change of the color or become discoloration. So, we can paint the plastic part. Uh, which is uh, the paint can be applied to a plastic through either brushing, spraying, rolling, dipping, or either manually or mechanically. So although uh, most plastic can be painted, so the success of the process depends on the proper surface preparation and the specific paint formulation for specific plastics. We look at the types of paints we have. Okay. First, a polymeric resin or resin component that form the coating. Secondly, pigments or dye for color, also known as pigmentation. Third, a solvent or carrier for thinning, delivery uh, and uniform coverage. And fourth, is additive to enhance or modify application, addition and appearance. A variety of paints have been developed based on different chemistries and polymer type. We look at the polyurethane paint first. So polyurethane is a famous paint because it can provide a flexible, durable finish, cure without heat, and are compatible with most plastics including many chemically sensitive amorphous plastics such as polycarbonate and polycarbonate paints. So most mm -hmm. of the car parts inside the cars um, use uh, polyurethane paints. Okay, secondly, epoxy typically produce hard, tough, glossy finishes, um, basically used for housing um, painting. Vinyls tend to produce soft, rubbery finish, and acrylic paints give brittle, scratch-resistant finishes that resist most common oil. So paint system also differ in the types of solvent system used. So solvent system generally fall into two types which are organic solvent and water-based system. For organic solvent, it will penetrate the plastic substrate to form a strong chemical bond for superior addition, but uh, it has uh, it will uh, damage the substrate. And the damage and chemical attack tend to be worse in area of high molding or assembly stress. Second one, the water-based system are generally less aggressive to plastic parts but tend to form slightly weaker bond because of the presence of the OH bond. And increasingly important advantage, water-based system avoid most of the environmental health and safety issues and associated with organic solvent system. So it has pro and cons, both of these types of painting. Uh, so water-based system, maybe it's slightly weaker, but it is good for environment, safe for environment. While for organic solvent, it is not safe to environment, 100% um, not safe to environment. And otherwise, the good thing is it can produce a good bond to the substrate. Okay, there are a variety of methods to cure pen. Uh, first, uh, by using air curing pens. So, uh, it will solidify as the solvent evaporates, leaving the resin to polymerize on the parts uh, surfaces. And second, secondly, heat curing system, which is baked parts for rapid and complete curing. So the curing temperature for this paint may limit your choice of plastic on which these paints can be used. 
the pot must withstand the required curing temperature. Okay. Two component pan system or 2K system, it use a chemical reaction to drive the curing process. So this system generally give off very few volatiles but have a short pot life after mixing, often only minutes. Okay. So 2K system, uh, it needs some uh, chemical which um, if you have a solvent and the formulation of the paint, you need to add some solvent or some curing agent uh, and then you mix it and then it will cure after a minute. Okay? And other paints rely upon exposure to oxygen or UV radiation to completely cure. Okay, paint selection consideration. We have semi-crystalline plastic, which is tend to be chemically resistant to most solvent system and often require special pretreatment or primers. As we know, semi-crystalline plastic, uh, semi-crystalline plastic, the semi-crystalline properties of the plastic, okay, it uh, cannot be uh, dissolved in the solvent. It only swells in the solvent. So we need some special pretreatment. For amorphous plastic, because they are less chemically resistant, it will achieve good addition with many more paint systems. And the government regulatory agencies, especially OSHA and EPA, limit the emission of this compound, which is VOC, into the air while waterborne coating and high solid polyurethane system comply with most government regulations. So many, many um, researchers it find. Uh, the natural way to produce waterborne coating and also uh, high solid polyurethane system. Okay, we look at the method which is by spraying. Okay, most of the plastic part it will it use the spreading technique. Okay, so in conventional spray painting, comp compress air, atomize and deliver tiny droplet of paint onto the part surface. In airless system, paint is forced through a spray nozzle at high velocity. And in electrostatic system, the opposite electrical charge apply to the paint and part attract paint droplets to the part surfaces. And electrostatic system improve coverage and reduce overspray. This is by using the airless spray. Okay, look at the method for using the electronic electric spray.
Okay, we can see this is the figure about the electrostatic system. Okay, it used the electrostatic spraying. Uh, okay, this part when uh, it introduced the electrostatic uh, coating, it improved the coverage and reduced overspray by attracting paint droplets to the part surfaces. And the spraying process breaks the paint or coating into tiny droplets that must coalesce on the surface of the part and blend together to form a smooth surface in an action called leveling. Okay. And um, for leveling to occur properly, the solvent and paint formula may need to be adjusted to compensate for the liberation in weather. Okay, crazing and paint soap. Two painting defects unique to molded plastic part are both affected by high molded in surface stress on the molded part and the composition and morphology of the polymer and the particular paint solvent system used in the formulation. So high surface stresses tend to occur near gates at knit lines and in areas of non-uniform wall thickness. So an aggressive solvent can cause small cracks in these areas that can lead to dullness known as a crazing and in severe cases large areas of the surface can become rough and appear as if the paint has soaked into the plastic so this is called paint soak okay. so to minimize this problem the part must be designed and processed to minimize surface stress and to reduce the high degree of surface orientation at gates and abrupt geometry changes that can lead to paint soak, uh, you should consider adding 0.008 inch deep groove in the mold steel and the back surface. Okay. Okay, other painting method by using brushing, painting and rolling. So brushing is the most uh, verse, uh, is the most commonly used in automated stripes painting application, and uh, it is programmable machine manipulate the brush position and vary the application pressure to adjust the stripe pattern and width. Okay, this is the uh, image for roller transfer paint to the raised feature on the molded part. Okay, rolling. Okay, rolling uh, applies paint to raised surface on a plastic part by means of a rubber or felt roller. And a transfer roller is commonly used in production to maintain a uniform film thickness on the paint roller. And the paint viscosity must be high enough to prevent running. So for pet painting, uses a... Um, Pattern resilient pad to transfer paint to the plastic substrate, much like a rubber ink stamp, applies into paper. In an automated process, a roller applies a film on paint to a transfer plate. And the pattern pad with raised figures is first pressed onto the film of paint and then onto the plastic part being decorated. Whipping, okay. Apply paint to molded inlays uh, such as dial, numeral, and indented letters. So in this um, in this method, high viscosity paint is first applied to coat the inlay features and surrounding areas. So after a period of time, usually 10 to 30 minutes, the excess paint is wiped from the surrounding area with a solvent impregnated red or brush leaving paint. In inlays. So for dipping plug, dipping is a simple and inexpensive. Okay, ini dipping, ini uh, wiping. So this simple and inexpensive painting method. It use a conveying system.